We're about 24 hours away from our third Ideal Auto Sales Friday Night Rivals matchup. Nicobis will take on Pawnee. News Channel 20's Michelle London has been following both schools this week. She starts with Nicobis tonight. We'll briefly cross over from the Nicobis High football field to their basketball court, where one coach has been leading this team to victory for decades. For head boys basketball coach at Nokomis High, Steve Kimbrough, winning is not uncommon. We've been to the state tournament four times, uh, 83, 97, and uh, we took second place in 08 and third place in 2013. Last year, Kimbrough's team lost in sectionals, ending the season with a record of 19 and 12. A 35-year veteran on the sidelines, Kimbrough is no stranger to Redskins basketball. Played basketball here as a player, uh, so you know, I had some ties to the community to come back and, and came back as a teacher and, you know, taught for 32 years out here, so uh, something that I enjoy. Known for his strong defensive coaching strategies, players say it's Kimbrough's tough practices that build team discipline and a work ethic to win. We do a bunch of drills, and if we don't get them right, we keep, we keep doing them until we get them right. With young players returning, Kimbrough says this season will be about growth. He adds he's just one year away from having their best team. We don't have as much talent as some people, but uh, we play a, a good team game and we, we outwork people. Meanwhile, the Pawnee Indians are preparing to host tomorrow night's big matchup. But to one community leader, practice isn't the only ingredient to winning. The Pawnee Indians have been practicing hard all week in hopes to get a W at home against Nokomis Friday night. I think we'll do very well as long as we uh, put forth all of our effort and give everything that we've got. But for A.B. Bennett, lead pastor at Pawnee Assembly of God, victories come through encouraging these athletes before every game. We offer to host team meals and those team meals just kind of seem to just kind of click. They just kind of hit. Each Thursday evening, players, coaches and even cheerleaders are served a hot meal. An inspirational message usually follows. We all get together, we eat and then it just it's like a team bonding type of thing. And over the last seven years, this kind act of service has grown. Churches throughout Pawnee are now taking part. We just made up our mind that we were going to uh, not only just proclaim the gospel from the pulpit, but we were going to uh, show God's love to our community. And we knew that one of the ways that we could do that was to love on our school. Bennett says it's just another source of support for the team. This community is behind our athletics here in, in Pawnee. Tomorrow's game kicks off in Pawnee at 7 p.m. I'll be your sideline reporter, so come on out and see us. If you can't make it, you can watch the game live on our sister station, The CW.